Hi there everyone and welcome to CPC's online devotional for Wednesday, April 14. It's good to be back. Of course, I was away on a study leave last week, so we didn't have our midweek online devotional. But as I say, it's good to be back and to be able to share this time with you today. So thanks for tuning in. I hope that uh, you're all doing well. The devotion that I have for you today is it, it, the entire thing is a prayer uh, using material from uh, uh, Kenneth Pfeiffer. I've used uh, material from him in the past. Uh, Dr. Pfeiffer was a pastor at St. Charles Avenue Presbyterian Church in New Orleans for 20 years. He died in 1985, but he wrote uh, several books, and uh, the book that I'm drawing on today is called A Book of Uncommon Faith. It's a book of prayers. So I want to invite you now just to a time of prayer for our online devotion today. This particular prayer is called, Here I Am Again, Lord. Here I am again, Lord. So please join me now in prayer. Eternal God, I come to you in my prayers. Each of your children is different, unique, even peculiar. Yet we are all one in our final needs and in our ultimate humanness. We are one in our need to belong to you and to belong to other people. We are one in our need to relate our lives to some meaning and purpose beyond ourselves. We are one in our fumbling quest for the goodness of life. But we are different in the ways we seek fulfillment of our needs. Some of us are more fear-filled than others. We have been wounded and we smart from our hurts. Some of us think more highly of ourselves than we deserve, and some of us think far too little of ourselves. Some of us have loved and lost, and some of us have never really loved at all. Some of us find satisfaction in our work, and some of us feel frustration and emptiness. Some of us look back with nostalgia, and some of us look forward with hope. Some of us just look around, holding our noses to life. Lord, we are different. But still, we are one. One in needs, one in our humanness, one in you. Perhaps if through you I am able to acknowledge my oneness, I can help others more. I can touch others with my hands in my heart. I can steady someone else. I can point and beckon and wave and smile. I can even love others. I know that is your purpose for me. Yet I live all huddled up and apart, bundled in an overcoat of selfishness, touching life with the tips of my fingers. I am too self-conscious to be concerned with others, too timid to reach out, too uptight to enjoy life. Perhaps if you will help me, I can break down some barriers, break out of my self-imposed shell of solitude. I know, O oh Lord, there are so many ways in which you can help me, but I am not sure I want to be helped when it comes right down to it. You have shown me what life can be like in the Lord Jesus, and it is frightening. He kept on going that indomitable way of his, and he ended up on a cross. I have dabbled at love enough to know it can be costly. Even in my most intimate relationships, I can be hurt. I can be betrayed. I can be rejected. I can reach out to a stranger and be rebuffed. I am small enough of heart to wonder at times if it is worthwhile. Keeping my heart withdrawn is so much safer. Guarding my feelings is so much less threatening. But even as I acknowledge my fears, O oh God, I am struck with gratitude that you did not feel that way about us. Our Lord was betrayed by a person like us. He was rejected by his own people. He did reach out, 
and his hands were stabbed with nails. Yet he was big enough of heart to know it was worth it. I am very grateful. Where would I be without him? Where would I be without your grace? Help me, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. I think that's a very deep and moving prayer. I hope that uh, it has been helpful for you. I hope that you can keep those words in mind uh, throughout your day. And um, turn to God for the help that you need in whatever way, shape, or form that may be. Remembering that we're all human, we're all one together in Christ, and we're there for each other. So thanks again for tuning in today. I look forward to our a shared online time this coming Sunday when we will worship. Um, until then, God's peace and God's blessing be with all of you. Goodbye.